I said, she bit me. Oh my God, Santa! Hey family, good morning and welcome back to another vlog message. Vlog message. This is December 7th. December 7th, we're up, we're ready. Fresh face. Face? Fresh face. Try to say that three times. Fresh face, fresh face, fresh face. I messed up. Anyhow, try to say it. Let me know if you got it. Good morning. I hope you're doing well. We are getting ready to eat breakfast and get on out of here. The countdown continues to break. It continues. I wanted to show you my OOTD hairstyle, deep part to the side, soft twist over, little swoop, half up, half down to the back. Elf shirt. Oh my God, Santa, who has this much energy in the morning? Me, I'm like this every morning, every single morning. I have to tone my energy down a little bit because everybody's still asleep. The shirt is snug, but I can breathe, so we're gonna wear it. It was in the stash. One of my favorite movies. Let me show you the cargo pants with gingerbread socks and our red cover. Ooh, my knees popped. And I forgot to show you all the earrings. Gifted by another kindergarten teacher. I'm gonna get some breakfast and head on out the door. Let's see what we get into today. It is hours after work. We are here, of course, in Target. No, we're about to Target. go into Target. We have to get a few things. My baby's going to a Sweet 13 party this weekend. We have to get her friend a gift. We need some conditioner for our hair. I don't feel like I'm... Conditioner for our hair and for wash day and uh, what else we need i need some candies for my kindergarten babies and she needs pjs for pajama day tomorrow and whatever else we see in the home decor and nah, i look, look when i say home decor she goes like <laughs> i'm gonna try to be good if i don't need it i'm not gonna get it right if I don't need it, I'm not going to get it. I make no promises. Let's go. She wants to make these for her Christmas party. And you know I said, of course, what we need. Let's see. Marshmallows. Pretzel, pretzels. m and &M. Perfect. That'll work. Oh, they still have these suckable mugs. Should I go on and get the snowman? If they're only $5. Yeah. That is so cute. I have to get it. Ooh, who left their napkin in here? Disgusting. Oh, they have the New Year's Eve drink glasses out. These are $5. They're cute. I didn't see this last time. Sleeps until Christmas. The little disco ball. The unicorn. Mm -hmm. The dinosaur. We're hitting the pajamas. Let's see. I'm not paying twenty thirty dollars for no pajamas. I hope we can find some ten twelve dollar ones. What? Now, why do you do this to this mannequin? We come on. Hold this, and I'm the one putting it up. Nah, Cause they gonna think we in here doing this. Nah, disgusting. All right, ten bucks. Not bad, but we want a matching set, right? You want a matching set, right? $25. <laughs> Look, I got some PJs at home. You got some PJs. Oh, 30 bucks. That's like an outfit price. <laughs> For the soft flannel. I mean, they're cute. Well, nah, uh, uh, let's keep looking. Target has some cute, ugly sweaters. The Hello Kitty, the Hello Kitty was down there, and the sweaters are running thirty two ninety nine. The print on here is giving Gucci, Christmas snacks, peppermint bark. How much is the bark? Mom, do we have big enough marshmallows? Yeah, we have the big ones and the small ones. Okay. Peppermint cream, ginger snaps. Or do you just? We can make holiday pretzels too. 
want to do the one you want to do. You want to do the one you want to do. No. <laughs> Mmm. The Andes. Hot cocoa melts. This is the orange. And the dark chocolate. These. I've been seeing these all my life. Look how cheap they are. Let me know if you've tried these. Never tried before. I always see them every year. And then the Queen Anne too. Just got a feeling I won't like them. Godiva has some pretty boxes. Let's put this one back. This is huge and definitely overpriced. $12.99 for this. You can get a third of the bar for like $2 now. It is called the Dessert Mint Hot Cocoa Spoon. Mm -hmm. Rock candy. Look at this huge marshmallow. We could probably do this. The white chocolate coated jumbo marshmallow. And they have the favorite day coated marshmallow, sea salt, milk chocolate, peanut brittle. Look at these holiday hot drink bombs. Duncan box of chocolates. Natalie mix. Chili lime. Oh, this would be a nice gift for a cook. Everything seasoning, salt, lemon, pepper. Hey family, we are back home from Target. Picked up a few items for tomorrow, as well as my daughter's friend's gift for her Sweet 13 this weekend. I was telling Jay about my day, and then I said, hold up. Let me tell you all about a funny story today at school. So I don't know if you all are familiar with elves, but most of our classrooms have elf on the shelves, and we have one in ours. It was the end of the day. The number one rule if you have an elf is to what never touch it because if you touch it what the magic goes away all right so the elf was sitting on top of the shelf which the shelf is above the cubby holes you have about four cubby hole squares and then a tall shelf where none of the kids can reach so this morning the elf was put inside of a metal sleigh so she was sitting upright and happy by the end of the day the elf was slumped over like this so the kids are packing up, they're talking, you know, doing all of the end of the day stuff. So me being me, I'm thinking, let me go straighten this elf up because it's really bothering me that this elf is slumped over. So what do I do? I proceed to go over to the elf. I pick it up, lift it up, not all the way, just by the top of the hat, prop it up. And as soon as I prop it up, I hear... Oh, it was at that moment I knew I messed up. I had to think fast. I was like, oh my gosh, I touched the elf. That means the magic is going away. What did I do? Well, I'm still facing the wall and I can feel all of these eyes staring on the back of my body. I'm like, girl, what are you going to do? They looking at me. I'm looking at the elf. They're looking at me. I'm looking at the elf. I'm like, I turn around. Meantime, I'm pinching my finger like this. Turn around, look at the class. And they say, you touched the elf. The magic is gone. And they're going crazy because they're five and six, right? Going crazy. I'm still pinching my finger like this. In my mind, I'm like, what am I going to tell them? Guess what I told them? I said, she bit me. And I proceeded to act like I was in pain, right? And they said, she bit you. I said, she did because I touched her. So what do they ask? Let me see it. The whole time, I'm still pinching my finger even harder. I proceed to walk through each little table section because they have three group tables. And I'm showing them my finger. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm a, I've been pinching my finger the entire time. Here's what it looks like. Tell me if it looks like a bite or not. See? So I'm pinching my finger up so that they can appear red from the pain of me pinching myself. And then showing them the little tooth mark. I'm like, you see the little tooth mark? So they're like, yeah. Do you need a band -aid? I'm thinking to myself, girl, you, you are so smart. They're falling for it. They're falling for it. They said, but you touched it. What about his magic? 
I said, you know what? You're right. Let me look it up and see what it says to do to get his magic back, okay? Why did I pretend to pull out my phone like I was scrolling, looking it up on Google? I said, ooh, I found the answer. It said that if all the kids go back to their seats and put their heads down for one minute, the magic will come back, but nobody can peek. Next thing you know, we all put their head down like this. What does this do? I went to YouTube and I pulled up magical sound. <laughs> I looked around the room to make sure all the heads were down. I'm about to play the sound that I played. Whew. When I saw all those heads down and Google pulled up that magic sound, I hit the first thing it gave me. It said, <laughs> the kids in the <gasps> Did you hear that? Did you hear that? I said, the magic must be back. So I will keep you all posted on what happens because I know half of them went home and told the parents that the elf then bit my finger because I touched it. <sighs> yeah. When I tell you I was sweating in the armpit, I was sweating in the armpit. That was some clever thinking. Hope we don't get no backlash from this. Never touch an elf. Don't do it. It's not worth it.